hey hi guys welcome to my youtube channel so in this video i'm going to explain you how to connect your ssms that is microsoft sql server management studio to a power bi to start with we need to open ssms and i hope that is installed in your pc so open the ssms and let me go to get data let me click on get data it will take some a uh, few seconds to open it so this is your ssms so you need to connect or we need a server name we need a server name to connect so let me connect it now and we can fetch that server name later on so let me minimize this ssms and now we have an option on database or you have an option called sql server database also let me click and let me click on connect it was asking you for the server name and the database is optional and the connectivity data mode so this is very important like do we use an import mode or a direct query so we will be talking in detail about these options in our coming videos so let me put a server name here so go to your ssms right click on this server name and go to the properties properties and here you can see your name so just select this copy it let me close let me click on okay minimize it now you can just paste your server name so click on okay and wait for few seconds it is very simple guys so you can see your server is connected now you can see all the databases that are present in your databases in your ssms like amazon company could nyit second database student database you can see all the databases in your power bi so let me fetch the amazon's data i hope you have that with you so you click on the tables so we have tables in that just have a preview how that table looks like hey this is our superstore sample data set so you click on that and you can directly start transforming it data and or you can directly load it into your power bi desktop i don't think the data is messed up i think everything looks good if you just want to check the data types you can go to power query or you can directly load that data into power bi desktop yeah so it is loading yeah so all the triple nine rows have been loaded you can just come here and you can check like just have a cross check whether we have fetched all the details or not so you need to run a simple query like select star from this table or i'll just use select top thousand rows and your query will be executed and all the records will be shown here now you can see a query has been executed and you can see all the records here so it is showing you top 1000 records and if you run a count on this query you will get like how many rows are there in that so let me write a query here a simple query so let me write let me first run select star from order name orders that is table name and you get all the records now if i want to run count you can use select count star from the orders or you can see here we got triple nine four rows here so all those rows have been imported in your power query sorry power bi so if i go to data view and see like what are the details here and you can see that how many rows are there triple nine four rows are there so this is how you can connect your sql server that is your microsoft ssms sql server management studio to the power bi and you can start building a reports on that you can take category you can take sales and start building a report so this is how we can connect your sql server 
thank you for watching this video guys i hope you have enjoyed this video if you like the content please like the video subscribe to my channel thank you for watching again keep learning